Hello and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. Have you ever dreamed of hurtling through space, trying to escape an evil computer, and simply trying to find your way back to Earth? Well, if so, I think you'll really enjoy this Kickstarter preview for Sensor Ghosts. Sensor Ghosts, the sequel to Assembly from Ren Games, has one to two players escaping from an evil virus ridden computer on a space station. You have to traverse through dangerous space to make it home and win victory. However, Earth doesn't let you back in unless you've collected a virus sample upon the way. This game focuses on hand management, memory and a good sense of direction. The board starts out as a series of upside down tiles which you have to move from one corner of to another. The issue however is that the tiles are upside down and you don't know exactly what they'll reveal until you travel over them and these can be both good and bad things. Now on a turn, assuming you're playing with two players, you and your partner both play navigation cards and you put them together in whatever order you feel is appropriate to give orders to your ship. Now the cards vary from things like move, peak which allows you to look at some upside down tiles hence the memory portion of the game um, there's also a deep scan which allows you to look at the virus tokens that are on the board because obviously you need to collect one of those to get home and allows you to look at cards as well and then there's also the charge action which allows you to recharge your shields you start with two and any meteor storm you run into strips your shields completely so you're going to want to keep an eye on those not to mention the fact that it's difficult to traverse the board and there is indeed a tile that will just straight up kill you. And at the end of each turn, the board itself actually shifts. No easy feat. So the aim of the game here really seems to be to look before you leap. So similar games to Sensor Ghost. Well, I'd be crazy if I didn't say that this didn't remind me of Assembly, its predecessor. They're both fascinating puzzle games that involve moving parts. Setup is a little involved as you have to assemble the board yourself each time you play, but the rule book is incredibly helpful in this regard and generally is clear and concise. It takes about 20 minutes for two of us to play this game, um, I imagine this being much quicker in solo mode, and because the board is randomised it's a different type of puzzle every time you play. Now if you really wanted to spice things up you could play with the disruption cards that come with the game to make things more difficult or you could play with the escape pod variant which has you also get an escape pod back to safety. Aesthetics wise this game is sleek and captures the lost in space feel. The bright colours on the dark background echo a night sky. It's all kind of very fitting. Now I can't speak to component quality because I have a prototype but knowing Ren games I think this will be a stellar production. What's so special about Sensor Ghosts? I think it has to be the fact that you can't tell your partner exactly what cards are in your hand and to overcome this kind of impasse you really have to become in tune with each other which is a very unique approach to co-ops. Okay so how do I really feel about Sensor Ghosts? Firstly the negatives. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the fact that there is a tile that straight up ends the game. Now you can lose the game by driving off of the board, running out of cards or just getting hit by meteors. Those are all very real and actual possibilities. And I understand that the idea of this red tile is to really encourage you to be more careful on the board perhaps, but it always feels really harsh when you run into it. And the positives. This is a very challenging puzzle, don't let the small box fool you. There's many things to remember and moving parts to keep track of, it certainly keeps you on your toes. Now the type of co-op you have here where all the information isn't available I think makes the game very intimate and incredibly endearing. You really feel like you get to know your partner the more that you play and not to mention the fact that the victories are all the sweeter when you have to work extra hard to achieve them. Do I think you should have Sensor Ghost in your collection? Well if you enjoy the space theme then this is a really interesting use of that. Or if you enjoy a particularly robust and sharp puzzle, then I don't think you'll find much better than Sensor Ghosts. Or if you've already backed Assembly and feel like continuing on the saga, then this is the perfect opportunity to do so. You just need to check out the Kickstarter, which starts on the 28th of May. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about Sensor Ghosts, I'd really love to hear from you in the comment box below. Or if you'd like to do something nice, why not like or subscribe to the channel or tell a friend I exist. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.